As a media teacher, I'm always encouraging my students to look at films analytically, to consider the meaning of absolutely everything they can see and hear. <laughs> do it again, do it again. But this is definitely a skill that takes a lot of practice, especially if you're not used to interpreting art. In this video, I'm going to look at how, with considered analysis, camera work is just as important as dialogue and action in establishing themes and getting messages across to the audience. Now the first thing I teach my students is that no shot has only one use. The cliches we teach kids as a starting point that um, a long shot is to show isolation or a low angle shot shows uh, dominance or superiority. They're all well and good as a starting point, but they are not the only interpretations of those angles. Here's an example. Here the extreme close up is intimate and passionate. Whereas here, it's intimidating, almost like you need to back away from the character. Same shot, very different connotations. So the way I get around this with my students is to analyze using this method. Number one, notice. At this stage, you don't need to worry about what everything means, just say what you see. Is the camera moving too fast or slow? In what direction? Does it favor a certain composition for certain characters? Is it doing anything abnormal compared to the rest of the shots? Let's take this iconic shot from Shawshank Redemption. The camera is looking directly down on Andy, slowly raising to a long shot. Good, we've got an excellent observation. Two, consider the context of the scene. Now, in this case, Andy has just escaped from imprisonment for a crime he didn't commit, where he has undergone horrendous treatment, and for the first time in decades, he has his freedom. Three, try and apply meaning to the shot. How could the filmmaker be trying to express an idea, um, a message, meaning, through the lens? Now, I personally read this shot of Andy from Shawshank as quite transcendent. In a sense, he has his freedom now and his soul is rising as the camera rises. And the fact that the camera's looking down on him from the heavens, it almost makes it biblical. His arms are outstretched, his sins are literally being washed away by the rain, and he's being born again. Look at the same shot without the reverse motion. It's not quite as powerful, is it? Now it's easy to get carried away with shot analysis and try and apply meaning to absolutely everything, when the fact is sometimes shots are literally composed for practical reasons. Take this conversation scene as an example. Here we've got a standard uh, shot reverse shot comprising of mid close-ups. Here dialogue is the most important thing and I certainly can't really assign particular meaning to the camera work. Now compare that to the camera work in this stunning scene from Solaris. Something noticeable happens. Clooney's character is in the middle of a conversation when he spots this woman. Despite being in a complex conversation, there's no eye contact between the two men, and the framing, where we have a lot of space to the left of the men, indicates they are not the only members of this scene. They're sharing it with the woman. Then we are presented with Clooney's perspective, and we know it's Clooney's perspective because of the use of the wobbly free hand, and the fact that the conversation is still continuing at full volume. Tell people what we think is happening up there. Tell me, I'm a doctor. Well, doctor, as we study Solaris. Furthermore, the shot is actually zoomed in across the bar rather than just shooting a close-up of her, which tracks her. They've they've used this long shot, which makes it feel a lot more authentic. It's almost like a real across the bar situation where his eyes are locked on hers. Here, I would argue it's camera work solely which is establishing that he is attracted to her. Now, you could argue that's quite an obvious observation. With time, you'll get better at finding meaning in far more subtle camera work. Let's take a look at one of my favorite sequences. What do you notice in this scene from 2001? In this scene, there is a range of uh, static, symmetrical shots. It becomes painfully obvious because of how long each shot lasts, and because there's so little movement in each shot. Now, let's consider the context of this scene. We're in the future, at least at the time of making, and humanity has advanced its technology and its abilities to great, great lengths. Here, the future is precise, clean, and perfect. So the frames that we're being presented with and their static nature, I feel is really illustrating um, symmetry lines within each frame and precision, perfection, enhancing the idea that this world that we are viewing for the next three hours is equally advanced and precise. 
I'd argue this exact same technique is used in Interstellar for the same reason. Check out this clip where the static camera work almost glorifies the immensely complicated task of space travel. Endurance is hitting stratosphere. So there's a good starting point for you if you're doing film analysis and you want to consider how um, you can create so much meaning with camera work. As always, I would recommend the best thing to do is, is start watching some films with the specific purpose in mind of looking out for camera work. You'll be amazed what you find. Thanks for watching as always. If you have any favorite camera shots or scenes you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to leave a comment and see you next time.